Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Today I have another idea for you for packing pencil packs for a filler for the processing center. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you this cute little pencil pack filler for a child aged 2 to 4. Filler is sent to the processing center to be used when a box has something in it that's inappropriate or needs a few items added to make the box more full and they always need school supplies. So I love participating with the Pencil Granny and Friends and trying to make as many pencil packs throughout the year as I can. So this is just an idea for a child aged two to four. So let me show you how I did it. So the bags that I'm using are from Oriental Trading and I recently got them on clearance and I'll try to put the price and links to everything in the description below. And they're really cute, they come in blue, yellow, pink, and purple. So really cute. And then I wanted to use these little bookmarks that I've had sitting around. I got these last year on clearance from Oriental Trading and they're little bunny bookmarks. So those are really cute. So we're gonna put one of those in there. I'm gonna use these fun erasers. These are also from Oriental Trading. And I just got these, and I think these are on clearance. So there's really cute, a lamb, a chick, a bunny, and an Easter egg. So we'll use one of those. We're gonna add a stuffy to each bag. And the stuffies are these little bunnies. You can get these on Amazon, and you can use really any stuffy if you want, and you don't have to include a stuffy, but I really like, particularly for the two to four, to try to include something um, tactile, they can touch and feel and just cuddle. So these are really cute. These come with a little card that says bunny hug. This little bunny is full of love and hugs. Keep it close and squeeze it tight and know that you are loved. And then it also comes with an organza bag so that you can bag it up cute like this. So you could also just send this to the processing center like this but we're going to use this in our pencil pack. These are some of the other stuffed animals that I was able to gather to include in these packs as well. I'm also including some paper. I like to include paper when I can in my pencil packs just to give them something to write on. Um, but this is for a child, so two to four, it's just some blank paper inside. And I just used computer paper and cardstock for the cover. The cover I made by using canva.com. If you've ever gone to that website, you can use it for free and pull some images. And I created a, um, like a large piece of cardstock with two sides. Let's see if I can, I don't have one with me, but let's put this together to show you how it was done. With two images on the bottom, I printed it out and cut it in half with my paper cutter. And then for the paper inside, it's just computer paper. So let me show you. Here's the computer paper. And here's my little paper cutter. It's just a small little cutter. And I put it right in the middle of the paper. And I used, actually, once I cut these, I used these to kind of make sure that I was in the center of the paper. And that's how I cut my paper for the inside of the booklets. Once I cut the paper, I used a long reach stapler or a long arm stapler. I'm not sure what they call it, but um, this is what it looks like. I got mine on Amazon. I love this and I used it for coloring books and making small booklets like this. And I'll try to put the link to this in my description as well. It wasn't very expensive and it has been well worth it. I think I got it two years ago. So once I got my cover and I put in five sheets of paper, which will give them a total of 10 sheets once it's folded over, you're just going to put it in your stapler until it stops, which will give you the middle of the paper. And then you're going to bend it over right where that staple is to make your little booklet. Okay, so that's the 
booklet that we put in or that I put in. For pencils, I'm using the Walmart Easter pencils that we got on clearance and some pastel pencils that I got last year from Walmart. It's a pen and gear brand and they were 25 cents for a pack of 12. And they're really pretty. They're pastel colors so they'll go well with everything in the bag. I'm also adding in some four color chalk that I got on clearance from Walmart after Easter. It'll be a fun little item to add. And a sticker sheet. I got these stickers on clearance from Hobby Lobby after Easter. And you know, Easter is a great time on clearance shopping to find items for your pencil packs as well as your shoe boxes. So I cut these in half and I'm gonna put a half sheet of stickers in every bag. All right, so I think we have everything ready to go. Oh, pencil sharpeners. I did include a pencil sharpener in every bag and I tried to include pencil sharpeners that were not um, tiny, that were significant enough for a two to four year old to handle and um, didn't have any small parts that might be a choking hazard. All right, so let's get started doing one of our bags. Let's use the purple one. And inside we're gonna put the little book that we made. We're going to put a half sheet of stickers. We're gonna give them a little bunny eraser. And we'll match up a purple sharpener to the purple bunny. And let's pick out our pencils. I'm gonna grab a purple and a green one, and then a bunny and a checked one. So we have four pencils. And I'm gonna put the pencils in here catty corner and I'll explain why I decided to do that. So let's add this little bunny bookmark that's also purple. And the colored chalk. We'll tuck that inside. And I think the last item we would like to add is the bunny stuffy in the organza bag. So I'm gonna tuck that right in the front of the bag. And that's a really cute little filler pack for a two to four year old. But we can't send them to the processing center open like that because everything will just fall out. Um, these filler items are tossed around quite a bit in big bins. Um, so I had to come up with a way to enclose that. And what I decided to do was use a quart size uh, storage bag to put it in. And it won't look as pretty right away, but when the child takes it out, it will look adorable. So we're gonna tuck down the handles to the back of the bag. And we're gonna put it in sideways. And I also, I want the bunny to sh show through on the clear side of the bag. So we're gonna tuck it in like this. And that's why the pencils need to be catty corner because they won't fit in there. Um, they will fit in there the other way, but it's really, really tight. So we're gonna do it catty corner like that and zip it up. And you're all done with your filler. I'm gonna mark on this side for a child aged two to four. And that's just an idea for a young child aged two to four for a pencil pack filler. All right, I'm gonna pack up some more today and I'll film it for you. And I hope that this encourages you in your pencil packing if you are making pencil packs this year for the Processing Center. Be sure to join the Pencil Granny and Friends and report the number of pencil packs that you're doing. We like to see how these numbers are increasing, how we're reaching out to people, and how we're getting more school supplies in all the boxes for Operation Christmas Child. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Thank you for stopping by, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing, God bless you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.